It's amazing, guys. Welcome to the show, everybody. If you're tuning in, I'm your host, Chris Otters. Thank you for joining us today on the Jerry Quest Show. Well, this is our second episode for 2024. I hope you are looking good. I hope you do what you are doing best to stay positive and do what you do best. Anyway, coming up on today's show, we got so much in stock for you. But before we bring my guest on the show, here's who she is when we talk about former Miss Island, my very good friend. She's going to be talking to me about all she's been doing for the past maybe 20, 15, 10, 3, 4, 5 years. I don't know, but we'll find out. So let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have Olga on the show. Take it away. Thank you. My name is Olga Devinet, originally from uh, Lithuania and living in Ireland for the last 25 years. Um, I am former Miss Ireland and also in the same year 2014 I took part in Top Model UK and become second runner-up. I took third place and um, I started modeling in my 30s and I did photo shoots but most of everything in the fashion I'm enjoying fashion shows I done many fashion shows in Ireland Scotland and in England uh, I actually got engaged just in April uh, on Runaway while I was on the fashion show modeling in Aberdeen. Um, also, I love combat sports. I love Muay Thai. I drink myself Muay Thai. I started in my 40s and I'm still competing. I'm 45 years old and I'm still competing. I, uh, I love that the bits. I love training. I love competing with people. Um, I feel that something that's that's for me, not for everyone, maybe. Um, also, uh, my professional, I'm a uh, coaching Mai Tai and doing personal trainings. I love working with people and help them to reach their goals wherever they are and see a happiness in their faces. After when they're reaching their goals, um, I am mom. Uh, I have two boys who's 19 and 14. Um, what I can say more about myself, uh, apart fashion and a trainings and a fighting, I think that's all I do. Oh yeah, I also I'm doing um, also and the Muay Thai doing judging and refereeing. Uh, I finished my courses in Bangkok last year so I'm back to Bangkok in September again for the world championships to judge and refereeing so I just enjoying life and doing what I love most of the people saying because I'm 45 years old at the moment and people saying that uh, it's too old to do some stuff but I think you're getting cold when you stop doing what you love so it's my message to everyone if you love something Never stop doing anything. I feel like I want to model on the show, but I don't want to take it away. I want to welcome my guest to the Please jump the water. All on the show, everybody! Yeah. Hey, girl, how you doing? Good to see you. How's things with you? It's all good, yeah. It's been a long time, though. To be in, I think, it's seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's so, so true. So, okay, let's talk about your journey. You know, you're former Miss Ireland. I know you've done a lot of things, you know, um, but I don't want to give them away. I want those things to come from you yourself, you know? So, let my audience get to meet you. So, tell us what really gets you into becoming a model at, your, at that stage. Um, I became a model when I was in yeah. the 30s. Yeah. So, I think I went first time to do just photo shoot for myself, just to have something professional photos. Yeah. And I think that's how I'm sick then. Applied, this was competition in Ireland as uh, a silent in 2014. Mm -hmm. And I got chosen to go to the competition and I won that year. Mm -hmm. So I became a silent in 2014. Mm -hmm. At the same year, I went to the top model UK to Ireland and I took to third place from top 400 people. Wow. So it was an amazing experience. And um, I love something different. I know it's people saying sometimes maybe it's too old, it's younger people doing, but mm -hmm. I think you're getting old when you're stopping doing some stuff. Well, you know, so that's true. That's true. While you're doing it's it's no matter how old you can be. Yeah. Okay. So back, so back to yourself. Uh, the reason I, uh, I'm talking to you about this today is because it's good for people 
like you said, back in this, we, we, you know, you put the effort to become a model, you present Ireland or the younger people at the time. I believe by this time you've already transformed to all the things. You're talking about boxing, you go for other com competitions. Guys, t trust me, you need to go check this girl out. Though. She, she got a lot of inner plates, you know, so um, it's good to talk about it. Uh, but you're not going to box me on the show anyway, right? No, no. Oh, okay, so that's good. You have to be afraid of all these boxes. So tell us about it. What really prompted to go into boxing? Um, the, the boxing I started uh, to box of it. I just, I'm not really, it's a, I feel boring in the gym mm -hmm. just to go to by myself and doing. So I need to do something like a classes. So I went first of all for box fit classes. And in the same gym, they was doing white collar boxing. Mm -hmm. And one of the girls pulled out, she got sick and asked me if I wanted to do and I was doing just maybe for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, I'll do. I thought it's easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy. Yeah. But when I stepped in the first time in the ring, that's what when I step out straight away I said that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So I did a little bit of the boxing and I started doing my try about five. Five years ago, six years ago. Wow. And thing. during that time, you were not just walking alone. You have someone walking with you at that time, yeah? When you do your, your boxing. Is it you walking yourself or you have other people that walk with you at that time? Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean by it's not yourself. Is it your partner who so, so supports you during the oh, process? I have, I have my mom and I have my two boys mm -hmm. who will always be with me and always, always supported and bunch of the friends. <laughs> yeah. I also saw some photos that you went to, I don't know, somewhere in the Philippines or some other country there to uh, actually do. Yeah, talk to us about that. Uh, it was in the, I start maybe from this way. Um, I'm not just competing myself in the competition in my tie stepping in the ring and I'm fighting, mm -hmm. but also I'm coaching in the gym. Mm -hmm. And we went to Malaysia, Bangkok, with the bringing kids to the competitions mm -hmm. in there. And that's where I started to do my judging and refereeing course mm -hmm. for the competitions. Mm -hmm. So myself, I just competed with UK, I didn't compete in too far away. Yeah. No, I went in the, yeah, I went, sorry, I went in Thailand last year and I stepped in the ring and I, I fought, yeah. yeah. I fought in Thailand, yeah. So, see, I <laughs> know. was last year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So back to yourself, modeling, what takes for you to have that confidence, you know, to actually uh, be uh, involved in the modeling uh, industry at that time? Because at that time, there's a whole lot, you know, to really, uh, put yourself out there, body-wise, exposures, and all those things. Talk us I through. I think it's a confidence, it's a main thing for mm -hmm. me. Um, even today when we're talking, I think I better, as I told you, behind, I better get punched in the face and they're in the ring. Sure. They're talking at the cameras. Okay, yeah, just, yeah. That's his confidence. Mm -hmm. I'm more confident that way than talking. Uh, but I think it's confidence most is important thing was for me to <coughs> starting. Uh, but because I had, um, I met really, made really good friends who was actually a little bit pushed me and gave me confidence and mm -hmm. all the time supporting me. Mm -hmm. I think that's when I love, I love that I started to do, I didn't push myself because I had so many times to think, mm -hmm. should I do, should I not do, because yeah. when you're going over, when you're 30 years old, you're thinking, should I do or not? Should I do like sure, you know? But so then you're like, you know what? We live just once. At least. Just gonna go to do that. And just enjoy yeah. it, you just know? Just enjoying, yeah. Exactly. And how old are your kids now? Uh, my oldest son is 19, uh, youngest 14. Okay. Are you bringing them along like the boxing process or what way are they? Yeah, they were training before with me, before lockdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, but. They try to, when I'm competing, they try to be in the competitions with me. Mm. Oh, very so. good. So for you, right now, what are the things you're doing as your current update or what are the things you're doing? Um, I'm back to do fashion shows. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I took a break maybe for a couple of years and uh, I'm back to do I went this year to Scotland. I did Aberdeen Fashion Week. I'm okay. working at Aberdeen Fashion Week and uh, back training myself, uh, I had a few health issues that I was not to go through, but <laughs> everything on the track, back again fighting. Yeah, very good. <laughs> also going to Bangkok now in September, going okay. to go to George and Referee World Championships. Yeah, so very it's, good. It's a different experience, I bet. It's, 
I have all mixed between the modeling, mm. fighting, mm -hmm. and then competing with other ones and yeah. preparing. So it's so many things I have, yeah, yeah. but I'm enjoying everything mm -hmm. what I do. When it's modeling, I'm, I'm enjoying modeling. Yeah, because when you go online to check things about you, uh, I've seen you on sports, I've seen you doing other different com com competition, um, modeling, you'll be going boxing, you're doing training, you're doing all the judges, you're doing all massive stuff. One question before I let you go of the show is, what gives you the courage? Um, I think just because I'm a woman 45, mm. it makes me courage that I can do whatever I can do. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, because most of the time people when getting, say, getting their 40s and they're like, no, I'm too old to do this one, I'm too old to do this one. I'm like, I'm not too old to fight and go to the ring. Wow. I'm fighting or go to putting my heels next day and stepping and doing modeling for the designers. I'm, I'm just enjoying that. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay, before we let you go, what would you say to other people who listen to you either in my audience or out there on your journey? Any positivities or motivation? What can you say out there? If you're thinking to do something, no matter what, modeling, running, fighting, anything, whatever you want to do, it's never too late to do. It's never it's too late. Never too late. You always can start and doing no matter. We have in the gym people who are in their fifties and sixties, and they're doing classes. They're enjoying. They were taught. They're not gonna go to enjoy. So just do what you love to do. Yeah, I can feel the audience wondering. Chris, can you ask her age again? What age are you again? Forty-five. Come on, show some wonderful love for the company. <laughs> You know, but you look amazing for 45, you know. It is good when you look after yourself, you stay positive and do things that makes you happy. Yes. And happy days for the way you look. So keep it Thanks up. Very much. And give it up one more time for all the everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up on the show, we have so much to talk about right on the jury question. But first, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, see what's next. Take it away. Thank you.